Hey traders, I want to talk to you today about my RBLX trade because I think it's extremely important trade to learn from. Now, first thing you notice, the stock started down with a gap of 8%. Therefore, it's likely to be a gap and go, meaning it's likely to continue coming down. So first candle is green, which is great. The buyers are out of the game. Now it's spiking down and I'm waiting for it to cool down. And now I'm shorting 4,000 shares because I expect the second candle to take us down under the lows, which didn't quite happen. Now here's the educational part. It's spiking up right now. As you can see, I'm down four grand, five grand. It just spiked up. You never move out on the spike. Spikes are normally meant to take you out of the game. They are normally just fat fingers. Somebody who's buying large quantity. He just bought he or they or she just bought a large quantity and the stock spiked up. Spiked up. Now you always wait until the stock comes down. When you have spikes, you don't join the game. If I was short and the stock spiked up and I was down like four or five grand, I just wait. It doesn't matter if it's gonna end up being much, much worse. You just wait until it comes down and then it does what it was expected to do. And that's the pressure of the seller with a gap and go. Now it just came down under the lows. It had a beautiful move down. I'm already up three grand, moving up to four grand, five grand. First sign of a pullback. I'm taking my partial here with uh, 3,600 shares, leaving 400 shares right now. So that turned out to be a green trade because I didn't move out on a spike. Now here comes the second spike. Now I'm short 400 shares. It's hanging at the lows. Now comes another big buyer and pushes it up. Now take a look at this green candle. It's quite a fast moving green candle. And normally when the stock is just moving higher, it just moves higher gradually. And I'm getting ready now to short again. Now the same reason that kept me in the game last time it spiked. Now I'm adding more. I'm, this is the same idea. I'm adding more 2,000 shares and I'm adding it right over here. Now I'm short 2,400 shares. Now again, remember, when the stock is spiking, you just wait for it to come down. You see that there's no more continuation. There was a little bit over here, as you can see, but now it comes down again and continues with the planned trend. So the stock just stopped over here and continued to come down. Now I'm short 2,400 shares and again I'm up nicely and uh, it's going to break down under the lows and I'm looking for my second point of partial and as you can see now it just did that. I'm already up another four grand here and I'm taking my partial again. This time 2,200 shares buying it right here leaving 200 shares for the continued game. So what did we learn in this trade? First, a gap and go, we talked about it a lot in this channel. When a stock is gapping down more than 3%, it's likely to continue coming down. So I was expecting that from RBLX and I shorted it after the buyers came into the game. And again, you won't see the buyers out. You won't see the buyers failing. Who are these buyers? They could be people who are, you know, averaging down their loss from yesterday. I mean, the stock came down very strong. Some people will buy. It's a foolish mistake. People do it. I don't care. But anyway, once the buyer came out of the game and the stock started coming down, I moved in with a short of 4,000 shares. And then for some reason, it could be just noise. It could be just fat finger buying large quantity. I don't know really, but then it spiked up. You do not move out on spike. I don't care how much money you lose. When you see a spike, just like you've seen now, you just don't move out of the game. And then I kept hanging on and it came down and then it spiked up again. Not the same kind of spike, but still is a spike. And then same idea applies and I added another 2000 shares. And as you can see, it's holding to the trend. The, the second time I added 2000 shares, it was within the trend. It just kept going with the trend. And again, I used that spike in order to add the first one, I was holding the second one I was adding and it just continues lower and as you can see my last 200 shares are really doing very very well. Well if it seemed easy to you it is not. Trading is extremely hard and I do appreciate that you watch this video and if you liked it please give us a thumb up and there's plenty of links right here below where you can join us. We have a great uh, Christmas package going on right now with Amazon gifts so there's a link right here below. And um, just please remember, 
Trading, as I just mentioned, is hard. Most traders lose their money. And if you want to start trading, please start with a demo account. There's also a link right here to the interactive practice account of TradeNet, where you can join without losing your money. And please don't lose more than you can afford to lose. And again, remember, it is a hard game. It's not as simple as it may seem to you. And you know, my results, as you can see them right here, as uh, now you can see that Arbilex was just one of my three green trades today. Well, these are great results, but it's not very typical. Again, most traders, especially new traders, they just don't get to that point before several years of practice and many of them never ever succeed. I want to thank you again. Please give me a like if you like this video and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks. Goodbye.